Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, in this video po, we are going to draft the basic ba uh, bodies, uh, basic black bodies pattern. So, uh, marami na, I have two uh, videos ng how to make the basic black pattern. So, in this video, is kakaibang method na naman po ang aking gagawin na I'm sure mas madali nyo pong matutunan at madali nyo pong masundan. Okay? So, stay tuned po and if you are new into my channel, just uh, click the subscribe button and also the not notification bell. Okay? So, that updated po kayo sa lahat ng aking mga videos na i-upload. Thank you! So, kung meron ako dito uh, pattern paper, so ang gawin natin dito is if fold natin once para mag-start tayo. So, by the way, ang ating sukat na gagawin is medium. Uh, pag nagagawa po kayo ng pattern paper, dapat po medium po palagi para hindi po kayo mahirapan sa pag-grading. And uh, magagawa, malalaman nyo kung bakit once na nasa grading uh, video na po tayo. Bakit medium palagi dapat ang ginagawang base pattern. Okay? So, so let's start from this bottom. So, uh, we're going to measure from from the edge of this pattern paper. At least uh, 2 inches. And mark like this mark on a straight line again guys in this uh, tutorial since meron na akong tutorial before sa basic pattern ito is another tutorial na mas madali po siyang matutunan hope you like it okay from this from this um line you're going to get the one fourth of the bust measurement plus the easing. The easing allowance, meaning the easing allowance is hindi siya masikip, kaya gumalaw yung katawan ng susuot. So, usually, ang easing allowance ng isang damit, pag fitted, 3 inches to 4. Pag maluwag naman, yung loose fit is 5 inches. So, i-divide mo rin siya into 4. So, if ang ating bust measurement sa, sa medium is 34, so we're going to divide that into 4 is 8.5 8 inches. Plus yung uh, gamitin natin yung fit yung fitted na, na design sa easing is 3. So, divide by 3 divide 4 is 75. So, 8.5 plus 0.75 is 9 in 1 fourth or 9.25. So, i-lay natin ang pattern ang tape measure dito up to sa 9 in 1 fourth or 9.25 okay yan ito po and then we're going to get the next step is we're going to get the back the back figure which is uh, sa medium is 15 and 3 fourth so from this point from this center we're going to lay the tape measure down up to the 15 point 15 point what's this 3 fourth plus just add um, one half so it will be 16 and one fourth okay then we're going to make a straight line and then uh, we're going to box this one so we're going to get the measurement of this bust so it's 9 in 1 4 so we're going to lay the tape measure here up to 9 in 1 4 that's it and we're going to box this like this Yeah. So as you can see, we have already a box. So our next 
uh, part is we're going to get the shoulder point or so shoulder line so we're going to get the one half of this back width guys if you don't have calculator you can use this tip measure just uh, do like this fold the tip measure once to get the one half of this back width and then lay it here and then mark this is our shoulder short, shoulder line sorry and then from this shoulder line we're going to uh, mark one inches down for our shoulder slope okay so next part we're going to get the neckline so when you're going to get the neckline we're going to divide the the bust measurement into 12 okay so in this time you need to get you need a calculator so since our bust measurement is 34 we're going to divide this into 12 so it's 2.8 so we're going to lay the tape measure here and then 2.8 it's usually it's 2.2 and 3 4 2.8 or 2 and 3 4 okay and then from this point we're going to get the down of the neckline it is um 112 of 112 of bust plus one fourth so it's two point two and three fourth two and three fourth plus one fourth so it's three inches so we're going to box this and this okay like that next we're going to get the back neckline so just get one inches and then do, draw a straight line for the back and then uh, draw the straight line for our uh, shoulder shoulder slope like this okay so, ito na po yung itsura natin. Next part is we're going to get the roundness of our uh, neckline. So, from this point, we're going to down half inch. And here, half inch as well. And one inch here. Then we're going to draw a curved line for our, our neckline, like that. And for our back neckline, simple as this. Like that. And then if you already draw the neckline, we're going to uh, go out one fourth. and redraw the curve line so this is the final this is mark this x this is the final curve line the neckline and simple reshape the back neckline the zip okay 
so as you can see we're we're, we already draw the neckline and also the shoulder line okay next step we're going to get the bust line so in order to get the bust line we're going to get the one half of the we're going to get the one fourth rather the one fourth of bust uh, measurement so 34 the one foot of 34 is 8.5 so we're going to lay the tip measure here up to the 8.5 inches same here so that we're going like this and like this and we're going to draw a straight line like that so we, are, we already did the the bus line so now next step we're going to uh, align this like that as you can see we almost done we're going to uh, curve the armhole so from this uh, point up to this point we're going to divide this in three by folding the tip measure up to three parts like that then we're going to transfer it here So this is the one third of this armhole. From this point, we're going to get uh, one half inch for our front armhole, arm side rather. So we're going to curve this one. Simple as this. That. We need to find the finest curve. See, we already have the curve for our from from our front arm side. So we're going to curve the back arm side. As you can see, we already did the neckline the shoulder slope and also the arm hole the front arm hole and the back arm hole so now we have already let's go to the waistline okay from this point in our waistline we're going to measure one fourth of our waist measurement which is 26 so the one fourth is six and one half Just add 1 inches for our dart allowance and then draw a curve line using this curve ruler. Okay. That's we already uh, done the neckline, the shoulder line, the armhole, and the waistline. Uh, now we're going to get first. We're go before we we get the the dart. We're going to get the length of the blouse. So the basic the basic length of the blouse for the medium is twenty five to twenty six inches. So we're going to get the tape measure here. Lay up to twenty five.
like this and then from this point we're going to from this waistline we're going to down 3.5 first hip and then another 3.5 for our second hip okay now we're going to measure the hip so we're going to get the one-fourth of hip measurement uh, for medium the hip measurement is 36 so we're going to divide the 36 into 4. So it's 9 inches. So it's here. Just mark this like. And then we're going to curve the hip by curve ruler like this like as you can see it's almost it, it's almost done now we're going to uh, measure the dart measurement. Okay, uh, to get the dart measurement, guys, without the measurement, with, with your, if you don't have a measurement of the distance of the dart uh, on the bust point, uh, just simply do this. Uh, get the one half of this weight, this line, the waist measurement by simply laying the tape measure once fold the tape measure once okay and then the bus point just uh, follow this line less one inch so here and then draw a straight line and then from this point from this hem go up one inch as well and draw a straight line continue like that and then since we get the we get one inch sewing allowance we're going to divide divide that here so one half one half and one half the other side okay then draw the straight line okay we almost done we already uh, did first the arm the neckline the front neckline the back neckline the shoulder slope the arm hole the front arm side and the back arm side the waistline the hip line the length the dart the last part for this uh, tutorial is our arm the hemline so from this point uh, just down one half of an inch and simply draw the curved line here like this
simple as that so now we're going to cut this from back point and then we're going to trace the back then we're going to cut the front okay guys we're going to trace the back uh, the back bodies by tracing this out I'm going to use pencil Okay, we're going to cut this out. So we're going to label this as back bodies size medium. Okay, then we're going to cut the front. We're going to cut the front bodies by this. And then this one. So this is our. We're going to label this front bodies. Mid jump. Okay. So we already done as you can see okay we already already done uh, drafting the basic black pattern so as you can see it is uh, perf perfect so uh, remember I don't I don't add the sewing allowance uh, if you do the pattern just uh, add sewing allowance which is uh, one four two three eight only okay just practice this uh, method uh, I will sure uh, I'm assure you that you will gonna uh, master this and you're gonna be a professional in drafting the basic block just practice and practice the basic block so that uh, you can if you already uh, uh, well known for this uh, method you can do anything you want just just this basic block just practice okay thank you so much and see you on our next video which is the basic color Thank you.